Joe Biden in 2024. It is official. Can you hear the hallelujah chorus across the land? Well, maybe not. I tell you what, that announcement was the most quiet and low-key uh, announcement for an incumbent president I think we've ever had, certainly in the modern era. And of course, a lot of people are asking the one big question that I read, which is, is he too old to be president? I mean, he's 80 now. He'll be 82 if he's elected again and will serve until he's 86. Now, is he too old? Of course he is. But that doesn't matter. Democrats are going to promote this guy and vote for him. The bigger question to me, though, is this one. And, and let me just say, I have been hammered. Everybody in the country has been hammered with Democrat talking points on all aspects of racism. But with that said, the ultimate question for me is this. How can any Democrat vote for a white guy and put a white man in any power position? Not to mention that Joe Biden has been in power longer than most of you have been living. How can you you know, explain that. And I really hope you'll leave me a comment because I don't get it. How can any Democrat vote for a white man, Biden or anybody else? I just remind you what we've gone through. Now, way, way, way long time ago, early in my political, you know, when I began to really read this stuff, we had this phrase, identity politics, firmly in the Democrat camp. That's so old fashioned now. The, the big word now is intersectionality. If you're not sure what that is, go to Google, put in intersectional graph and chart. Uh, you'll see stuff that comes up. Basically, it's a hierarchy of privilege. At the top is the most privileged at the bottom, the least or the most discriminated against. Guess who's at the top? The most privileged people in this country. Yep, white men. And so out of this is where we get this belief system that we refer to as white supremacy. Now, let me just say this. I, I, I'm not a white supremacist. I don't even know one. But I am a Bill supremacist. I just think I'm better than everybody else. Now, that aside, Ibram X. Kennedy has taught us in his book, anti racism that every one of us, even if we don't believe we're white supremacists, we are though we don't know it. And of course, CRT, critical race theory, has taught us that from the beginning of our nation's history, all these white guys, these privileged guys, were racist and white supremacists. And that's where we get, here's another great Democrat phrase, systemic racism, which means that every institution in our country is racist to its core. This was back in uh, Black History Month. Disney put out that song by the kids. It was cute. Slaves built this country. Uh, was the course. And one question I have on that is if slaves built this country, how did white guys build all the systems? I'm not sure how that comes together. And so what's happening now? Democrats are doing their best to change this historical thing we're in. And the end result is going to be DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. And that's why the woke culture, I think to sum it up, they just want to get rid of the white guys. So tell me, Democrats, how can you vote for a white man?